Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to attain this effect with just seconds, minute, half a minute. First, if you want to do anything to the font before you give this this effect, do it now because when you do, after you've done the effects, uh, you can't really change too much. So let's change something just to show. So I'm going to get my text tool and I'm going to take wavy and I'm going to make it uh, black. Now my font is two inches tall. I've got my nudge factor set on two and a half. I'm going to control D and just make some line. And you can have different wordage. You don't have to use the same word constantly. I'm going to control G and group it and hit P. Then all I'm going to do is go up to effects and distort and hit the mesh warp. And look at that. It's already done it. Uh, you could, I think the default is four. You can't have any less than four. Uh, but you can change these nodes and change them around quite a bit and get different looks. Um, so let's just say that's okay. And then just say, okay, it takes some time because Corel's having to do a lot of work, but that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, you can't do anything with it. Now it is non ungroupable. Uh, you can maybe convert it to a curve, but then you can't do anything with it. You can't change the color of the font. So you're stuck with what you got. But, you know, you can uh, do some pretty cool effect. Now, this could be done while well, you can change just the color, but that changed all the color. You can, you could do this individually, um, like with the lines and envelope tool, but not this fast and be able to really play with it quite a bit. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.